Let's talk about the life cycle of a male bird. He gets born and his mother feeds him. And when he's old enough, his mother will go away. And then he has to hunt himself and he has to learn to hunt. Now, let's talk about the life cycle of a male human, so of a man, of a man these days. When he's young, he gets fed by his mother until he's old enough to work a job and then the government gives him money and this is true the government gives you money because your company gets the money from the customers of that company those customers get their money that they pay your company in order to pay you from their company and they get it from their customers and so on and so on and so forth and eventually the government prints all the money so you get money from the government for spending time at your company, working a little bit. And Andrew Tate and all these people have told you, yeah, you're enslaved. And you didn't believe it. That's why you are watching this video or you're believing it. But for those who don't believe it, I'm going to convince you right now. Imagine you had unlimited of something. And there are people outside who want something, right? They need something to live on. And earlier, they just used to do it um, so they could live with food and everything. And you just simply gave that food to them. Now what you do is you give the food to institutions and those institutions then take the thing you have unlimited amounts of, if you want to, from the people you give it to. You give them, you give them money, let's call it money. You give the money to people and those people then give the money to those institutions you gave the food to. And then the food, those, those food institutions, they then give the food that's loaded with estrogenics, by the way, we'll get to that in a second. They then give the food to the people. So indirectly over like eight corners that nobody notices ever if they don't think about it, you gave the food to the people. Now there are houses, you have the property to an institution that is, called, um, that is called real estate, right? The real estate industry. You give the houses and the property and all of that to them because ultimately you as the government, you own the property and the houses and everything. You could get and you, you could evict people. You could say, yeah, you have to move out of that house. I'm sorry. So the government still owns your house and your property and all of it. And they gave that property and your house and all of that they gave it to the institution that you now give the money that the government remember they gave it to you and they have unlimited amounts of it you then give that 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 government money to them and now you have a food and house from the government so the government feeds you until you're dead the bird has to learn to hunt and every other animal has to learn how to hunt but humans have forgotten to hunt. And I don't only talk about food, I talk about everything, a higher life standard. You have forgotten to hunt because your life standard is just high enough. Notice how it's always just enough to not make you quit your job and go work an entrepreneur. Every single entrepreneur will, will tell you a story of, okay, one day my job sucked so much that it simply wasn't enough anymore. I realized I don't have any money. I'm working all day long. And then I freed myself by becoming an entrepreneur. Boom, I'm here now. For regular people, it's never like that. They always say like, oh yeah, I have my bad days here and there. But in general, it's just good, right? It's okay. It's an okay job to work at. And they hate it. But they like it just enough to keep that job and they're comfortable. They are comfortable. And if they keep comfortable, they're not gonna change anything. There was an experiment done on frogs and the, and the same frog was first thrown into cold water and then into hot water and obviously it jumped out. And then they put it on like, on like medium heat and the frog stayed in there and he always adapted to the temperature. And at some point he died because the water was too hot. That's the same thing that will happen to you. It's always just good enough. It's always at medium heat and they turn it up a little bit. They make it a little bit worse, just a little bit. The 
they increase the age you can retire at, blah, 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 blah. They make the money worth a little bit less. They make the food a little bit more costy. They make you spend more money on stupid things. Your mortgages now are, are higher. Right? And they always make it a little bit hotter, a little bit hotter the water. But you always feel the same because you adapt to the heat. You simply adapt to it. And why do you adapt to it? Because you will become submissive because of the estrogenics. What is an estrogenic? Estrogenics are things that basically increase the levels of estrogen and therefore decrease the levels of testosterone, AKA the male sex hormone inside of your body. You can Google it. It is researched that this happens. What are estrogenics in? It's in tab water. It's in all plastics, all the plastics, even BPA free shit, all the for plastics. The things you wear that are made out of plastic, they're estrogenic. The shirt you wear to the gym, that's estrogenic. That will fucking decrease your levels of testosterone. And why? Not because they don't want you to build muscle or any of that boring shit. They want you to be submissive to their rules. Look at all the rules in society. Don't spread your legs on the train. Don't get loud, don't get angry. Be calm. Be cold, be a Sigma male. <laughs> All those rules wouldn't work in the 1930s. They wouldn't fucking work. Why? Because the people back then had way too high testosterone. Way too high. Because there weren't shit estrogenics, there weren't rules by society that actively tell you not to get loud if you're angry. There are rules that hold back your masculinity. Like estrogenics. Drink from, from, from the plastic bottles because if you because if you drop your glass bottle on the floor, then there's gonna be a, a bunch of splinters on the floor and someone could run into them. Those rules are made for idiots. Who who the fuck would drop would drop their glass bottle? No one. But they make up these stupid scenarios to make you submissive and they make up those scenarios so you say okay yeah I'll, I'll, I'll trade freedom for safety I'll trade the freedom of drinking from a glass bottle and keeping my testosterone for the safety of not having the anxiety of dropping my bottle on the floor and killing myself standing into the splinters of that of that of that of that glass bottle I'll take the plastic bottle that destroys my testosterone and, and that makes me become infertile let me tell you a story about BPA. BPA was manufactured to be birth control. In the 20th century, so in the last century, in the century of the 1900s, BPA was first manufactured to be birth control. This is why it's so cheap, because the government made a bunch of it. And then they realized, oh shit, this is plastic. We can use this as plastic. And they gave it to the companies, and the companies made shirts with it. They made underwear with it. They made bottles with it, and now, before you know it, you wear birth control on your penis. And birth control seeps into your blood. Because if you get warm, and in your underwear you do get warm, especially in summer, especially in summer. And notice how the summers are getting warmer, but that's a whole different topic. And when you work out, what do you wear then? The elastic shirt? The active fibers that make you sweat less. You wear that? Yeah, sure. And then you get hot. And then the microplastic that is on it seeps into your skin. And then you have birth control in your body without knowing it as a man. And then your testosterone levels drop. And then you comply with all of their laws, all their rules. Cross your legs on the train. Yes, sure, I'll do it. Yeah, sure, I'm, 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 I'm a modern man, you know. I, 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 I can be submissive, you know. Uh, women, women are supposed to be the leaders. Women are way smarter. They have a way better wired brain. All this bullshit they're telling you, feminism, all of this. And you're not supposed to say that you're angry at this, but I am angry at this shit. I'm angry at feminism because feminism isn't real feminism. Feminism makes women become men and men become women. And 
If you notice it, men and women do exactly the same these days. Remember hunter and gatherer times? The times when humans used to be healthy and happy? The times we try to recreate right now? The times every health specialist tells you, yeah, this was the healthy way to live. They walked around all day on flat grass. They had perfect posture all day long. They, they didn't have shoes on, so their feet were, were actually healthy. They knew how to hunt. They were off it. There wasn't a single obese caveman. And in those times, what also made them healthy was that the women stayed at home and made the food and the men went outside and hunted. The roles were different. These days, it's not like masculine here, feminine here. It's like masculine here, feminine also here because men and women do the same. If you ask a woman what she does, oh yeah, I wear a suit to work. And then I go to work and then I go to the club and then I get fucked by some, some bimbo guy who does the same thing as I do because he has also been programmed by society. And now men and women are at the same stage. They are ultimately at the same stage. They do the same things. They have almost the same, the same hormone levels because men have higher estrogen and women have high estrogen and men have low testosterone these days and women have low testosterone and all of this shit. All of us eat the same things, drink the same things, and it is just to manufacture us into becoming more of a woman than a man. And even the culture these days, look at the people we look up to. Thomas Shelby is a bitch. Sure, yeah, he has his cold moments and stuff, but he is never angry. And a man who is never angry doesn't care. He has no passion inside him and that's bad for you. I guarantee to you there was no Thomas Shelby. There was no Peaky Blinders in the 1930s. Yes, there were gangs, but it wasn't led by the calmest guy or by a guy like Thomas Shelby. That guy would have gotten shot because he acted like, like oh yeah, let's be calm, let's be cold, blah, 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 blah. You should not be calm. I'm being honest. I have meditated for two years and I know how it feels to be calm. How it feels to be calm for real. And if you can be calm for real, then sure, be calm. But if you need to get angry, get angry. For fuck's sake, I can't see these men who who, who are so clumped up in their masculinity. They, they, they start slamming doors heavier and... And they, they put the cups on the table a little bit heavier and think that makes them masculine. Let's talk real right now. Most men are women these days. Most men look like women. There's even a thing that's called the feminization of bones. You can Google that shit. They have hormone levels like women. They behave like women. And they get fed like women. Men don't hunt anymore. They don't hunt after nothing. The thing, sex, which used to take the most skill, the most skilled men used to fail at like getting a human, at like getting a woman. And nowadays, a 10 year old boy without any skills can simply get out his phone that his father bought him so he can f- shut the fuck up and sit there like a good boy with his legs crossed and watch porn. And waste his testosterone on jerking off. And become submissive again. Become submissive again and submiss to all the rules. Submit, submit, submit. There is no masculine man anymore. Masculine men, mavericks, get punished these days. And that's why we've all traded our safety for freedom. We all said, yeah, I don't want freedom, I want safety. I talked about this earlier. You will choose safety over freedom. If the government tells you there is a dangerous contagion and and we all need to wear masks right now for your safety, sure, it will maybe fuck up your lung health and and your breathing health and your whole breathing apparatus will maybe get like get like unhealthy and destroyed basically. But then you're safe. 
then you are safe then you then you can finally trade a little bit more of your freedom for a small bit of safety get the vaccine get even more estrogenics in your body cross your legs on the train you are restricting your movement to be a little bit more safe from society's critique the only reason a man crosses his legs ever is because he doesn't want the criticism from the feminists that's the reason it's because he's traded his freedom to move as he desires to move for the safety of the criticism of society and that's the point where we are at now we live in a society where men voluntarily eat things that destroy their testosterone they drink things that destroy their testosterone and they essentially lock themselves up in a cage to be safe from the war that's going on outside there is a war on testosterone everything wants to take your testosterone notice how it gets a little bit more cloudy in the cities that's because they don't want you to get sunlight and because sunlight increases testosterone wear your sunscreen it's the next thing sunscreen is highly estrogenic and even promotes cancer if you read some studies but it's safer for your skin and you and you won't get cancer you won't get skin cancer um if you get if you get if you get uh, a sunburn you can get skin cancer for the last year or so i haven't used sunscreen once i've sat in the sun for 3 4 5 hours at a time reading in the bible the holy book of jesus and god and i didn't get any fucking skin cancer anything and i should have gotten it if you look at all the data i should be dead by now because of the 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 uv rays and all of that shit shut the fuck up if one motherfucker tells me once again use your sunscreen i will slap that sunscreen out of his fucking hand and slap some sense into him because sunscreen is trading your freedom for safety and that's always a bad decision in prison you are also safe there is a reason why mob bosses go into prison voluntarily because they want to be safe finally they want to be safe they trade their freedom for safety but guess what now the warden who is the boss of that prison essentially can do everything he wants to them and that's the same thing men did these days they lock themselves up in the prison of society and now the government who is the warden of that prison can do anything to them they can say you go to that job at this time on this date 5 days a week at from 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 5 a from from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. you are sitting on that fucking desk filling in paperwork and you accept it because you want the safety of that job what happens when you get when you when you get angry what happens when you break out of that prison everything re revolts against you let me tell you one thing as a man who has revolted against this multiple times i get punished on a regular basis in school or or somewhere else where i am for being this way my family tells me hey calm down a little bit calm down calm down please come on come on be a little bit more quiet you're always so goddamn loud blah 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 i get punished for this shit i get punished and if you don't want this hard way if you want to again sacrifice more freedom for more safety for only a little bit more safety then go ahead click off this video click on some mr beast video and stay an entertained slave or you can go onto my channel you can watch the whole truth there I've made hundreds of videos on the same topic. I've made videos on how you can regain your ability to hunt again. 
Because like said, you've been strapped away this ability to hunt by society. They have always fed you. You never once were hungry. You never once had to had to look for your own food, for your own gratification. You never had to work harder than sitting there and getting out your phone to get a nut. You never had to do this. But if you want to live a better life and break free from this prison that we call society, you are on the right channel. You're not an entertained slave here. You're now a student of mine. So if you want to become a student, go down to the subscribe button and press that shit with all the masculine aggression you have inside of you. Because that button isn't only a subscribe button, it's also a fuck you button to society. If you press that button, you will get like five videos a week. I'm aiming for five videos a week. Sometimes it's gonna be six, sometimes it's gonna be seven, sometimes it's gonna be four, sometimes it's gonna be three. But you always get videos each and every single week that tell you how to escape from this prison and how to regain your ability to hunt. Master your mind.